Today we're going to learn how to use the twist deformer to rotate Rubik's Cube. Now first let's create the Rubik's Cube. Hold Alt and select a cloner with the cube selected. MB to uh, show the lines. And then go back a little bit. Uh, the cloner has to be in the grid mode so add two more in the Y. Uh, so make it three levels. And now go into the frontal uh, front view and then add a twist deformer go to deformers and add a twist deformer twist deformer has to be zero in the y uh, direction and then it has to be in between the cubes but there is no space between the cubes because they're touching so we have to reduce their size select the, the cube and press t to get to the scale tool and drag to make them smaller now select the twist deformer press e to get to the move tool and put it in between these uh, cubes now go into the perspective view again. Now to make the twist deformer affect the cloner, we have to select both and combine them, group them together, Alt-G with Alt-G. Now uh, untwirl the null and then select the twist deformer and change the angle. You'll see that it's working. So set it at 180. Now we'll, let's create another twist deformer and then go into the frontal view. Just uh, hold control while selecting the twist deformer and drag to make an, a second copy. Now go into co coordinates and add 90 to twist it, to rotate it in the 90 degrees and then make it in between these, uh, these cubes. Drag it to be in between these cubes, let's say uh, 100 and then make this minus 50 to lower the cubes because the cubes were raised. Now go back to the perspective view. Now we're going to animate the twist deformer. So uh, go to into objects, uh, right uh, right click to zero out the angle, add a keyframe, go into 30, make it 180, and add another keyframe. Same with the twist one, zero it out, add a keyframe go into frame 60 and then make it 180 and then add a keyframe go back to the beginning and then play the animation and it's working